Oh. All right, everybody. <coughs> pretty much, as you can see, they're just pretty much demolishing some of the woods and to create new growth in uh, woods around my house. But the sad thing about it is, as you can see where the tractor goes, or whatever the hell it's called that takes down trees, these pretty gr uh, good grooves in the mud. So this is the sad story of the toads. They see a big puddle of water, think, oh, perfect place to lay my eggs. Well, they're wrong. Definitely wrong. As you can see, the tadpoles, even though there's absolutely nothing to feed on. So the tadpoles will die. And uh, this guy, you probably can see it, but the toad did dive in and I don't know if you can see this, but there are... Oh, he just jumped in right there. Probably too much sun. I'll try and grab him. Oh, you can see him swimming there. He's right there. Alright, I don't know how well you can make out these, but every little black spot that you see here is a toad tadpole. I tried to grab as many eggs as I could from that ditch, and it's about two days since I filmed that first part, and they have hatched, so I'm going to do update videos on this until they become full toads. And if you've never seen a tadpole that turned into a toad, you will be surprised how small a toad is when it comes out of being a tadpole. So, as you can see, I've rescued probably maybe a hundred or more, maybe two hundred. Oh, wait till they wait till they start swimming. This thing is just gonna be. This is my little simple box that I made them for. So I'll be doing update videos on these.